we had previously cut our DNA. We are not sure whether the restriction site has been removed due to a mutation or not. How do we f figure that out? Because I showed you a photograph of a gel which, has, uh, which had DNA which had been cut with an enzyme, restriction enzyme. The DNA is basically forming a continuous smear. How do we find our fragment in that mess? There's a special technique to do that. Let's talk about that. First of all, we have our gel. This is our gel with DNA bands in it. We are seeing these bands, but actually the DNA is continuous. It is throughout. We are going to transfer all this DNA to a membrane. It is a special membrane because once DNA is transferred to it, it will stay stuck and it will allow us to analyze the DNA. So let's see. Here we have placed our gel. It is placed on paper towels, dry paper. There's liquid buffer on top here. So when we start this procedure, the water will move towards the drier papers. And when it does that, the DNA will also, which is present, it is floating, sort of floating on the gel. It will move towards the, the membrane and it will get stuck because the pores of the membrane do not allow DNA to diffuse through it and into the dry paper towels. So now we have DNA stuck to a membrane and we can fix this DNA. We make sure that whatever do, whatever we do next, so the DNA stays stuck to the membrane. Here you can see as the, the liquid, the buffer is moving through the gel. It is taking the DNA along with it. And here we have the, the membrane and DNA, since it cannot go through the membrane, it gets stuck in, on the membrane. And later on, it is ensured that it stays fixed on the membrane. So how do we see whether the DNA, uh, our objective, remember, is to see whether the restriction enzyme site has been deleted or mutated or not. So let's see how we do that. So here's our membrane. The DNA is attached to it. Now, in order to detect whether the DNA, where our beta globin gene DNA is present, we use complementary sequence and make a probe. Remember, we used probe when we were talking about quantitative PCR. Here we have a probe. This probe has been attached to the animation will reset itself. Here the probe has been attached to a reporter molecule, a radioactive or a fluorescent molecule. We add this to our membrane wherever there is complementarity, meaning wherever there is beta globin gene, the probe will get stuck on the membrane. The, the unattached probe will be removed and the gel or our membrane will be exposed to the X-ray film. So if the probe was radioactive, it will generate the bands. So if, as we were talking about our beta globin gene, if it had the restriction site, it will generate two fragments, which will be visible on the X-ray film. If it didn't have the restriction site, it will be only a single band. So as you can see here, there are two bands, meaning the restriction site is present. If there were only one band, it would mean that the restriction site had been mutated. So again, this is a technique which we are using to detect presence or absence of change in the DNA sequence. So this is a photograph of a gel which is exposed uh, to an X-ray film. And in order to determine whether a particular mutation has caused removal of a restriction site or not. So these techniques have had a great impact on human life and society. And these techniques are improving to an extent which we are having difficulty coping up with. And it will definitely have a great impact on lives of human beings in the future.